Hey, what's up you guys, Dr. Sharma here. As you know, doing well on the boards is really gonna help you in the future. Not only does it show that you took the time out to sit down and really learn your medicine, but it shows your dedication to some degree. And yet, unfortunately, it's just another number that programs director use in order to rank you in terms of whether or not they'll give you an interview at their program. Now, I know it's definitely not the single most important factor that plays into whether or not you'd be a good doctor, because there's way more other factors that plays into that, such as clinical skills, social skills with patients, volunteer hours and research which are also just as important but despite that it's still a number that is used and used pretty heavily in terms of ranking you so I ended up doing pretty well on my boards and that's why I'm creating this to let you know what were my favorite books and favorite tools that I used while I was studying first of all first aid was definitely one of my most important tools it's concise it's easy to get through and it has all the board relevant topics written there somewhere in the pages that you can go dig through and find while you're doing your question things. My only reservation to the book is that it doesn't have a lot of space to add a lot of notes. There's some space along the margins and in between paragraphs, but what I would do is just add small pieces of paper or pages and tape them in in order to add space. I mean, as you can see, I pretty much just tore this thing apart and uh, I pretty much drew all along the pages and the margins and drew everywhere. I mean, this thing was just pretty much destroyed by the time I was done with it. BRS Physiology is an awesome book for supplementation on top of the information that you'll learn from question banks and just learning things straight out of the first aid. If you want to just like really breeze through this book, I'd just skip to the end of the chapters where they have the review sections and review questions and try to tackle those and then go back and learn into the detail in the book. Also, you can read it like a magazine and just go through the diagrams and tables if you do need some extra physiology help. Biochemistry Rapid Review is an awesome, important book to use that you're actually gonna be using a lot during your first year of medical school during biochemistry. Now, a lot of biochemistry is just learning the rate limiting enzyme and the clinical pathology and symptoms that occur when that enzyme is mutated or genetically modified in some way. And it's a lot about learning pathways. So what I would do is go through that book, find some diagrams that are easy to follow and draw them out on a, on a whiteboard and use flashcards to learn those rate limiting enzymes and those clinical presentations that occur when those enzymes are shot in some way. You should also use your professor's lectures as a supplement and use those diagrams as well when you're learning biochemistry during first year. And that's just a little bit of advice during medical school and not necessarily board relevant. Pathoma is also another very well used and well rounded book for learning the basics of pathology for board relevant material. And I think it's a decent review for actual classwork and your actual pathology courses during each of your systems. Now it's definitely not an end all be all because your professor is probably gonna want you to learn a lot more stuff in detail for the exams and just for medical school in general, such as learning those zebras and some of the things that Pathoma definitely just does not hit in enough detail or even hit at all. Then that's really the caveat to using this resource. Is that a bad thing? No, I mean, it's just still a really great review of a lot of the big things that you have to know in pathology. It's just that you should use it as a supplement during medical school, but then really focus heavy on it during board study time. I really like the accompanying video lectures that he has because it sort of allows you to have a little bit of a breakup during those long days of studying, and it's really easy to follow. As always, please like and subscribe for more videos. Comment and comment below. Let me know how I'm doing, and good luck, guys.